Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, we need to take a look at a new Persimian. Now, Persimian is going to be the final card from this particular set that is graced with its own video on this particular channel. And frankly, ladies and gentlemen, there is a very, very, very good reason why. This is one of those cards that's come in with a little ability and kind of sneakily might be a redonkulous card. I mean, before we get to the card, just check out the ridiculous artwork. The artwork here is absolutely amazing. There's a little Sobble. I love this card. And Persimian was always better than Oranguru. Don't even at me in the comments because I, I see that as an inarguable fact. Oranguru has probably had the better, well, definitely had the better of the cards. It's been really good cards. But make no mistake about it, as a Pokemon, I'm, I'm Team Persimian. The thing is, this could really, really help. Like, ridiculous ridiculously how let me explain so our translation here actually comes from lovely joe over at cerebi.net we like joe joe is awesome and i'm sure by now most of you know cerebi and use cerebi but if you don't know and use cerebi you might want to change that it's i mean in terms of an all-purpose pokemon site there is no better and again, I see that as an inarguable fact as well now in terms of the basics here we're looking fine we got 110 hp which is it's all right for a basic. Like, there's a lot of Pokemon that naturally do 120 that will get you, but you are a basic, so I'm sure you'll be fine. Retreat cost of one is quite nice because it does mean you can use U-turn board to get out of dodge, which is kind of awesome. And then you've got a weakness to Psychic, which is fine. Psychic, we got Mew to a Mew, but since when did Mew to a Mew only do 60 damage? They're going to get a one-hit KO on you anyway, so I I'm really not particularly worried here. You are a fighting Pokemon, however, which means that you can use things like Martial Arts Dojo to do extra damage if you use basic energy, but incidentally, you're never going to use that. Or Karate Belt to reduce your attack cost by one if you're behind on prizes, but that's going to rotate out shortly after this comes out, and it is very much worth pointing out that you're probably never going to really want to use that either as well. Never mind. You're hitting a good weakness on stuff like Eternatus, but that's also going to be fairly irrelevant. What are you talking about, Wossy? Well, the reason all these cards are irrelevant is because we've only got one attack here. And for a single fighting energy, it does 20 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Now, to be fair, it can hit the active. But even if you are hitting for weakness, that's only 40 damage. Let's not get too excited. Now, I suppose Martial Arts Dojo, if you're behind on prizes, all of a sudden you're doing 60, double with weaknesses, 120. That is a two-hit KO on an Eternatus V. But... Look, if you really want to do 20 damage with a fighting Pokemon, it's not like we haven't got 47 billion other options. This attack is fine. I like that you can do 20 damage to the bench. It means if your opponent's got a Pokemon that is just about to be KO'd and they take it to the bench, you can get a KO without having to go ahead and use a boss's orders. That's rather lovely. But I'm going to be honest with you here. This didn't get a, its own video because of the attack. It got its own video because of the ability. The ability is a bit crazy. Throwing Coach. All of your Rapid Strike Pokemon's attacks deal 30 more damage to your opponent's Bench Pokemon V and GX. Now, for fairly obvious reasons, this ability does not stack. It has to not stack. Otherwise, four of these and you would do an extra 120 to Bench Vs and GXs. It means Persimian would do 140 for a single energy as a basic, which would be ridiculous. So, yeah, obviously this doesn't stack. What I will say is, just as a side note, I really enjoy all the sports references in the attack and ability names on Persimian. Now, Throwing Coach is obviously a, a bit of a baseball reference there. We've seen Spike Draw on the Cosmic Eclipse Persimian, and he's jumping up like he's going to spike the ball. We've seen Power Huddle on the Ultra Prism Persimian. Come on, you're huddling up. That's a sports thing. We've seen Team Play on the Sun and Moon Persimian, and the most obvious and in your face of all, Intentional Grounding on the Burning Shadows Persimian. As a dude that watches a lot of American sports, okay, basically just basketball and football, but still, 
I watch a lot of basketball and football, I very, very much appreciate all the random sports references that are just being shoehorned into the Simeon cards. It makes me very happy indeed. Now, we can look at this in terms of Persimian and go, well, hang on a second. Well, now, Persimian is doing 50 damage to a bench GX or V, and that's fine. It's not good. It's not great. It's not stunning. It's not spectacular. It is fine. The thing is, this works for all of your Rapid Strike Pokemon. Now, here I need to give my usual little note. This will work for all Rapid Strike Pokemon moving forward. So, there are going to be a whole bunch. We already know, we have had it confirmed that Sword and Shield 6, which is Silver Lance and Jet Black Poltergeist, and we do actually have the official Booster Pack artwork for them now, which is awesome. Very excited about those sets. We know that they are going to have single strike and rapid strike Pokemon in. We have literally been told. That is official. We know that for a fact. Cool. The thing is, we've already got one here. And we'll look at all the rapid strike Pokemon in a second. Of course we will. I'll give you all of the options. But the best option here, without really any argument at all, has got to be your rapid strike Urshifu VMAX. This makes Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX ridiculous. Absolutely full-on ridiculous. Let me explain. So if we take a look at that particular card, what we've got is an attack. The I mean, VMAX, you've got to evolve, right? And it's not the cheapest attack you're ever going to have seen, unfortunately. But it's free energy. It's not the end of the world. And you discard all of that energy, and you do 120 to 2 of your opponent's Pokemon, either in the active or on the bench. Sounds alright, sounds pretty good. But let's start building it up with all the tricks which we've got. You see, we've got Rapid Strike Energy. And Rapid Strike Energy will provide 2 Fighting Slash Water Energy on a Rapid Strike Pokemon. So now all of a sudden, it's not really a free energy attack, it's a 2 energy attack. So a Turbo Patch and then Evolve... An energy switch from one of your other Pokemon. I mean, pre-rotation, something like a Tapu Koko Prism Star that will attach a lightning energy and it's two fighting, one colorless, so that would work. If you want one colorless energy, there are a million easy ways to do it. And this is just one colorless energy plus rapid strike energy. So I don't think this is a particularly difficult attack cost to pay. Then you're doing 120 to 2 bench Pokemon, but it's not really enough. You're not KOing, well, I suppose you're KOing some single prize Pokemon, but you're not taking four prizes in one turn. Yeah, you are. Because Persimian comes in and means you do an extra 30 damage. So now it's not 120. Let's assume we're only hitting benched GXs and Vs. For our purposes today, we are only hitting bench GXs and Vs. Well, now you're doing 150 to two of them. And that's good, but it's not quite enough. Dedene's got 160. Oricorio's has got 170. Crobat's got 180. We really want to hit 180. And we've got Telescopic Sight. And Telescopic Sight says that your attacks from the Pokemon it's attached to do an extra 30 damage to bench GXs and Vs. So now you whack a Telescopic Sight on Urshifu, you whack a Persimian on the bench, and now you are doing 180. Which means if your opponent has got two Crobat, four prizes. Or two in any combination of Crobat, Persimian, Oricorio. And I know what you're thinking, right? You're thinking, we'll see. Oricorio is going to rotate out. And Dedene is going to rotate out. And you're absolutely right. But Aldegoss isn't going to rotate out. And that's going to be in range. And Krikatune's only just been printed. And that is in range. And these are support Pokemon that are going to see play to draw you cards. And yes, there is an obvious counter to this. There's an obvious way to play around it. And the obvious thing to do is go, ha 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 ha. I'm not going to bench them. Fine, do it. Don't bench a Crobat when you want to. Deliberately slow down your setup to hurt me. See if I care. Because you know what? One of two things is going to happen here. No, okay, three things. Either you get a really good setup, don't need to bench these Pokemon, and this trick is off the board, and that's sad, but it's going to happen sometimes. Or you are going to bench them, and I'm going to get easy prizes. Or 
you are going to deliberately not bench them so that I can't have those easy prizes. And that means that you are deliberately slowing down your setup to hurt me. And I've made this point many times in many videos, but it's one that's probably fairly obvious. If you are deliberately hurting your setup in an attempt to hurt me, that is um maybe not exactly what you should be aiming to do. I think is a very, very polite way to put it. I think this turns Urshifu VMAX the Rapid Strike from that's pretty good to Redonk. The fact that you can fairly, and like I say, we are literally talking Rapid Strike Energy, Telescopic Sight, one extra colorless energy, and you're getting a one hit KO on two benched multiple prize Pokemon. I think you are easily going to take four prizes in one turn in many matchups here. I really do think it breaks that card absolutely wide open. Now, in terms of other Rapid Strike Pokemon that hit the bench, the only actually other one we've seen is Zangoose, that for free colorless energy does 50 damage. But if you played a Rapid Strike supporter this turn, you also do 50 damage to two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. And then, of course, Telescopic Sight and Persimian could put that up to 110 against a GX or a V. It's not stunning. It's not amazing. It's not perfect. It's a nice little option. But I still... I mean, don't get me wrong. It makes Zangoose better. But I still don't think Zangoose is absolutely stunning. But it is literally the only other Rapid Strike Pokemon we've seen that hits the bench. But I can't finish the video without telling you about another card. And some of you would have been screaming this for about five minutes. It is the Rapid Strike Scroll of Swirls. Because for a fighting two colorless energy, which again really is a Rapid Strike energy plus one colorless, you do 30 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon, which rises to 90. Oh, no, wait, you can't combine it with Telescopic Sight, which is obviously very sad. But if you're using this, then Persimian does mean it's 60 against Bench GXs and Vs, which does make it a better attack. And certainly, if you're using something like Empoleon V, and you're sitting there blocking abilities, and you are spreading, and your opponent is having a really slow start because you're just sitting there and ability locking them, obviously it does make it better. I don't think we've got any great partners other than Urshifu V Max for this as it stands at the moment, but I think it is such a good partner. I think I've got to give Persimian five Wossies. And not necessarily for itself, but we have already got the ridiculous combo of Urshifu V Max, and there are only going to be more options in the future. But I want to know what you think. So let me know in the comment section, would you? Go nuts! Be nice! And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.